Meow there, friends. I'm Midnight, your friendly, magical black kitten. But I'm not just any black cat. Oh no. I was born on a full moon during Halloween night, under the twinkling stars of an ancient cemetery. Legends say that on such a night, a few lucky kittens are blessed with a touch of magic. That's me! My fur glows ever so slightly in the dark. And if you look closely, my green eyes sparkle with just a hint of enchantment. I have a perfect knack for storytelling, especially when it comes to Halloween. That's why I'm here today, to let you in on a few spooky secrets about why black cats like me fit into the Halloween spirit. You see, Halloween hasn't always been about pumpkins and candy. Long ago, it was a night called Samhain, a time when people believed the veil between the living and the spirit world was at its thinnest. Magic floated in the air, and all kinds of spooky creatures roamed the earth. But how, you ask, do cats like me fit into all this? Well, you'll soon find out. Let's start with the history of my kind, and why we've always been linked to mystery and magic. In many ancient cultures, cats, especially black cats, were seen as mystical creatures. In ancient Egypt, my distant ancestors were considered sacred, connected to the goddess Bastet, who ruled over protection and fertility. Cats like us were symbols of good fortune, and anyone who hurt a cat could face serious consequences. But things changed drastically in Europe. When people began fearing the unknown, they looked at us, with our glowing eyes and sneaky ways, and saw something much darker. What happened to cats, especially us magical black ones, during the Middle Ages? Oh, I'll tell you all about it in just a moment. Ah, where was I? Oh yes, the Middle Ages are not so fun time to be a black cat. My great-great-great-grandcats had a rough go of it. In Europe, people became quite suspicious of anything they didn't understand. And who better to blame for all things mysterious and spooky than us? We black cats, with our shadowy fur and silent movements, became the target of some pretty fur-itening superstitions. During this time, black cats like me were often accused of being witches' companions. People believed that witches, those who practiced dark magic, would choose a black cat as their familiar. In fact, some even thought witches could transform into black cats to sneak around unnoticed. Can you imagine? One minute you're just meowing at the moon, the next you're accused of being a spell-casting witch in disguise. And it gets worse. People believed that seeing a black cat could bring bad luck. If we crossed your path, you were doomed to misfortune, or so they said. This superstition stuck around for centuries, and even today, some folks still think black cats are unlucky. But I'm here to tell you, that's a total cat astrophy of an idea. But I digress. While all this superstition might sound grim, it's also a big reason why black cats became a Halloween staple. Witches, ghosts, and goblins, these spooky symbols all fit together, and we black cats took centre stage alongside them. People feared the unknown, and we black cats represented that mystery. But don't worry, things are about to get a little more festive as we leap into modern-day Halloween traditions. Now, how did we black cats turn from feared creatures into icons of Halloween fun? You'll just have to keep watching to find out. So here we are. After all those years of being misunderstood, something wonderful happened. We black cats became part of the spooktacular celebration of Halloween. What was once a night filled with fear and superstition slowly transformed into a time for fun, costumes and my favourite treats. And guess who found themselves right in the middle of all that? Why? As people began to celebrate Halloween more light-heartedly, black cats like me became symbols of mystery rather than misfortune. We found ourselves on decorations in costumes and even starring in Halloween stories and movies. And let's be honest, who could resist a cute fluffy black kitten with a little magical twinkle in his eyes? I mean, come on, I'm the perfect Halloween icon. One reason we fit in so well with Halloween is our ability to move silently through the night, blending in with the shadows. People started to see us as mysterious, but in a fun way. Picture this, a dark moonlit night, the wind howling, and a black cat with glowing eyes silently crossing the path. Are we magical? Are we messengers from the spirit world? Or are we just looking for a cosy spot to curl up? The mystery keeps people intrigued. In fact, nowadays, we black cats are often seen as protectors on Halloween night. Some legends say that having a black cat around will keep evil spirits away. How cool is that? From being feared to being Halloween's furry little guardians. Not bad, right? But while we've come a long way, there are still some lingering myths about black cats and bad luck. Unfortunately, this means that sometimes black cats are treated unfairly, especially during Halloween season. But don't worry, I'm here to change that. In recent years, many people and animal shelters have worked hard to show just how poorsome we really are, especially during spooky season. Speaking of poorsome, have you ever wondered why black cats, witches and pumpkins all seem to go together like? Well, a broomstick and a flying spell? Oh, there's a reason, and it's all tied to how Halloween traditions evolved. Stick with me, and I'll explain how black cats became the stars of spooky decorations and pop culture. Now let me tell you, I wasn't always the star of Halloween night, but these days you can hardly walk into a Halloween party or stroll through a haunted house without seeing a spooky black cat like me perched on the windowsill or grinning from a glowing pumpkin carving. 
So, how did I, Midnight and my fellow black cats, become such an iconic part of Halloween decorations and pop culture? Let's take a stroll through history whiskers first. Once people started celebrating Halloween as a time for fun rather than fear, the symbols associated with the holiday changed. Gone were the days when black cats were seen only as bad omens. Instead, we became part of the festive side of the supernatural. You'll notice that we're often depicted alongside witches, arched back, fur standing on end, with eyes glowing in the dark. You might even see me playfully leaping across a Halloween night sky, silhouetted against a full moon. One reason black cats became so popular in Halloween imagery is our undeniable mystique. We're sneaky, swift and silent. Our dark fur makes us the perfect companions for witches and wizards who are all about staying unseen in the night. It's no wonder people started painting us into spooky scenes. My personal favourite is when I'm drawn riding on a witch's broomstick talk about a fast-paced life. But it's not just old-fashioned folklore that put us in the Halloween spotlight. Over the years, black cats have also made their mark in pop culture. From classic Halloween movies to books and cartoons, black cats like me have starred alongside witches, haunted houses and other ghoulish creatures. Who could forget Salem from Sabrina the Teenage Witch? He's practically a cat liberty and proves that we're not only mysterious, but also charming and full of character. These days, when Halloween rolls around, people celebrate us black cats as symbols of the spooky season. We're not just a source of superstition anymore, we're beloved parts of the fun. But while we may have become Halloween stars, there's one more myth I need to clear up. Now let's address the big one, are black cats really unlucky? Well, I'm here to set the record straight once and for all. Get ready, because I'm about to bust that myth wide open. Ah, the big question. Are black cats like me really unlucky? Spoiler alert, absolutely not. In fact, I'm here to tell you that this whole bad luck thing is nothing more than a tall tale that got out of Pora, hand many centuries ago. And while it may have stuck around for far too long, I'm going to give you the truth once and for all. Let's rewind a bit to where this bad luck myth began. Remember when I told you about the Middle Ages? That's when people started connecting us black cats to witches and all things spooky. It didn't help that we were nocturnal and loved sneaking around under the cover of darkness. Some folks believed that if we crossed your path, it meant doom and gloom were heading your way. They even thought that seeing a black cat might be a sign that a witch was nearby, working some dark magic. But those were superstitions, born from fear and misunderstanding. Fast forward to today, and thankfully, most people know that black cats are no more unlucky than any other cat or animal, for that matter. In fact, in many cultures, black cats are considered symbols of good luck. Did you know that in Japan, owning a black cat is believed to bring good fortune and prosperity? Or that in Scotland, a black cat appearing on your doorstep is thought to bring you wealth and happiness? Positive vibes only! But even though times have changed, some people still hold on to the idea that black cats bring bad luck. That's why I'm here to spread the word that we're just as lovable, cuddly, and full of good fortune as any other feline. And during Halloween, instead of being feared, we should be celebrated for the magical, mysterious creatures we are. One thing I should mention is that because of these lingering superstitions, black cats sometimes have a hard time finding forever homes, especially during the Halloween season. Animal shelters often work hard to show how perfect we really are, and there's a growing effort to make sure that black cats are treated with the love and care we deserve all year round. After all, what's Halloween or life in general without a little mystery and magic? And there you have it. From spooky superstition to Halloween icon, we black cats have come a long way. But what's the best way to show your love for us this Halloween? Well, it's quite simple. So how can you show your love for us black cats this Halloween? Let me tell you, it's easier than casting a spell. First off, you can start by decorating your home with perfectly magical black cat images, from jack-o'-lanterns carved with our likeness to spooky yard decorations featuring black cats arched and ready to leap into the night. Whether it's an inflatable black cat on your front lawn or a cute witch's cat figurine on your windowsill, you'll be channeling the fun and mystery we bring to Halloween. But you don't have to stop there. Why not consider making a black cat a part of your family? Many black cats in shelters are looking for their forever homes, and what better way to celebrate the spooky season than by adopting a little bundle of feline joy? Trust me, adopting a black cat is like bringing a little Halloween magic into your life year-round. Plus, you'll be busting that bad luck myth one purr at a time, and if you already have a black cat, make this Halloween extra special for them. Give them a cosy spot to watch all the Halloween festivities, maybe with a few extra treats, because, let's face it, who doesn't love treats on Halloween? You can even dress up together. How about a matching witch and familiar costume? Just imagine how adorable we'd look together. Me in my magical black fur and you in your pointy hat. There's also something important to remember. Halloween can be a bit rough for us too. With all the loud noises, strange costumes and bustling trick-or-treaters, some black cats prefer a quiet, cosy spot away from the action. It's always a good idea to keep us safe indoors, especially on Halloween night, when the excitement and those pesky old superstitions are running high. So as you prepare for this Halloween, remember that we black cats are more than just a spooky symbol. We're charming, loving and full of magic. 
Whether it's decorating your home, adopting a black cat, or simply celebrating the mystery and wonder we bring to the season, there's plenty of ways to embrace the spirit of Halloween with a little extra personality. Now, as the Halloween moon rises and the wind starts to howl, I'll be watching from the shadows, ready to pounce into the festivities. Who knows? Maybe you'll spot me sneaking through your neighborhood, or better yet, lounging in your home as your very own magical companion. Until then, stay spooky, friends, and remember, black cats are the real charm of Halloween. Happy Halloween, from me Midnight, the magical kitten and all my fellow black cats. Oh, and for more entertaining Halloween tidbits, check out Professor Reginald Ambrose Thelonaeus Thistlewick, the third's animated video on the haunted history of Halloween next. Thank you for the plug, Midnight. You're sure to love my video for some more spooky fun. Ghosts and ghouls and Halloween fright comes the tale of midnight, a magic delight. Born on a night with a full moon so high, under twinkling stars in a cemetery sky. A kitten so special with fur that glows in the dark of night. My magic shows green eyes that sparkle. Just take a glance, you see the enchantment in my Halloween dance. Midnight, the magical Halloween cat with a twinkle in my eyes and a flick of my hat. Born in the shadows where the witches chat I'm midnight, the magical Halloween cat Legends say on a Halloween night Lucky kittens are blessed with magic so bright And guess what, that's me, the tale's no myth I've got spooky stories that give you a lift My fur is sleek and I sneak through the dark Spreading Halloween magic with a wink and a spark If you see me lurking, don't be scared I'm here to bring fun to the night we shared Midnight, the magical Halloween cat With a twinkle in my eyes and a flick of my hat Born in the shadows where the witches chat I'm the night, the magical Halloween cat I've got tales of witches, ghosts and more Pumpkins that glow and shadows that soar But don't you fear, I'm your friendly guy With a wave of my tail, I'll take you inside Halloween cat with a twinkle in my eyes and a flick of my hat. Born in the shadows where the witches chat. I'm the night, the magical Halloween cat. So next time you see a black cat like me on a Halloween night, as spooky as can be, remember my name and don't forget that I'm the night, the magical Halloween cat. The magical Halloween cat. I've got tales of witches, ghosts, and more. Pumpkins that glow and shadows that soar. But don't you fear, I'm your friendly guy. With a wave of my tail, I'll take you inside. I've got tales of witches, ghosts, and more. Pumpkins that glow and shadows that soar But don't you fear, I'm your friendly guy With a wave of my tail, I'll take you inside <laughs>